Good afternoon, and welcome to the Wednesday afternoon conference call with Trusts Unlimited. This is Jim George speaking. I'm the non-attorney spokesman and facilitator for Trusts Unlimited, and I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to listen to this call, particularly those of you calling in for the first time and those that will be listening to the replay over the next 24 to 48 hours. We like to move quickly through these calls, bottom line the information for you. Uh, we know you're busy people, you have other things to do. Uh, we have on a week-to-week -week basis made a decision about whether or not we're going to do a complete call in order to market our trust. Now last week I did a complete call for the first time in a number of weeks and the result was that we got absolutely blown up with new trust requests. So because of that, uh, we're going to uh, go to a shorter call today. We're going to deal, of course, with the situation uh, in Iraq and the reinstitution and revaluation of the dinar, which we continue to believe is the base currency for the reset of some of these other currencies. But we're going to dispense with a discussion of uh, the turnkey program we've put in place to assist you in our Q&A. I would suggest for all of our newer callers, that if you go to our call of last week, I believe it was May 19th, uh, you can go to either YouTube or IQD calls, and that call has a, uh, a detailed explanation of the turnkey program we've put in place to assist you, which evidently must have been a good conversation because we, as I said, got blown up with new trust requests, and there's a Q&A in there as well. But let's go ahead and talk about the situation in Iraq right now. First, again, by way of disclaimer, Trusts Unlimited is not the purveyor of the dinar and these other currencies. We're not advocating either the sale or purchase of these currencies, but as rather substantial currency holders ourselves. We're sharing with you the information we believe to be relevant. And of course, the most relevant piece of information would be the potential window for the reinstitution of the Iraqi dinar. There still remains the possibility, not the likelihood, but the possibility that we could see a reinstitution in the month of May. I went back and uh, looked at the reinstitution of currencies going back over 100 years. I went all the way back to the reinstitution of the uh, German Deutschmark after World War I. And it seems that reinstitutions seem to occur in the months of January. April and September. Now, of course, Iraq seems to be an outlier in just about every area. And I certainly believe that we will see a reinstitution this year. But it's still possible in May, but we're so late in the month, it's unlikely. However, there are a lot of things going on behind the scenes, even though things seem to be kind of quiet. June 1st marks the day that the Iraqis' new banking system goes into effect. They're transitioning to a digital system. In addition, they're going to provide much more protection and insurance for uh, deposit holders at the eight Rafidi banks, which, of course, is one of the reasons that citizens were uh, hoarding their money. They just didn't trust the banks, and for good reason. So the bank's intention is to reduce the hoarding, to get hard currencies into banks, not only for a digital system, but just to get a good handle on the actual money supply. And of course, their main objective is to complete the deletion, or I like to refer to, of the collection of the 3-0 provisional currency. And a reduction in the money supply would also help to reduce the inflationary problems there, although some of it has to do with the uh, artificial devaluation of the dinar, again, in order to collect the three zeros. Now, you don't have to look any further than the United States to see how money supply is a factor. We have the government here in the United States and the Treasury Department that just dropped about $6 trillion in helicopter money into our economy. And so we've seen more inflation in the last 90 days than we've seen in the last 25 or 30 years. So... A substantial increase in the money supply is inflationary. Obviously, a reduction in the money supply reduces inflation. 
The bank is also instituting, and this is the, the Bank of Iraq, something called the Balanced Performance Project. It has to do with a qualitative program. Qualitative and quantitative aging are kind of getting into the weeds of uh, economic policy, government expenditures, money supply versus the supply of goods and services. But basically, the Balanced Performance Project is the banks of Iraq moving to conventional banking operations, which is very important. Now, the uh, European Union Assembly is working very closely with not only the banking officials in Iraq, but also the uh, parliament itself, and they're finally pushing forward with combating the uh, corruption in government. And this has to be dealt with not before the reinstitution necessarily, but before the revaluation globally. The federal courts in Iraq have also recently passed laws and made rulings to limit the immunity that many of the members of parliament heretofore have enjoyed. So that's a good sign too. Now, I can't say that they're directly related, but it also seems that Maliki's state of law party or coalition is breaking up and some 40 members of that uh, coalition or party have announced that they will be leaving the state of law. So in my mind, this means Maliki, at least politically, is done. That's another important factor for us to consider. Lastly, the CBI has been having closed meetings with various international agencies, one of which is the IMF. And the CBI has stated that their intention is to reinstitute their currency at a one-to-one -one with the U.S. dollar as soon as possible. That's why May is a possibility. Again, it's unlikely, but it's still a possibility. But with the new banking system going into effect June 1st, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that we could see a reinstitution within the next 30 days. We certainly hope that that's what happens, because once the currency reinstitutes in country, the revaluation globally cannot be that far behind. So that's basically the information I have for today. Everything's moving in the right direction. Uh, I've got to devote the rest of this week to making sure that the requested trust applications we have are processed properly. I still have about two dozen individuals that have contacted us either by phone or email that I have not yet had a chance to respond to. So I'm going to be spending the rest of the week making sure that they've been contacted and whatever they need, they will get. For those of you, again, calling in for the first time, I want to give you our contact information. You can go to our website, which is trusts with an S, unlimited, LLC.com. Our email address is trusts with an S, unlimited, LLC at gmail.com. Our phone service is 307-274-4122. If you'd like to listen to the conference call playback from uh, May 19th, you can either go to YouTube and go to Trusts Unlimited, or you can go to IQD calls and go to Trusts Unlimited, or you can simply dial the same number that you dialed for this live call this afternoon with the exception of the last number. Rather than dialing a four, you'll dial a three, and you then use the same access code, which is 739-394-POUND. If you'd like to be included on our email list, go to our website, go to the bottom, enter your name and email address where indicated. You should be on our email list within 24 hours. Bear in mind that emails only go out very pe periodically, pre-RI slash RV. I can't remember the last time an email went out. However, once the Dinar reinstitutes in country, emails may go out as often as weekly. So again, thanks for listening to the call. I refer our newer callers to the call of May 19th. Things are moving in the right direction. And there is a possibility, not, again, not a likelihood, but a possibility that there could be a reinstitution in May. And if not, certainly it's entirely possible that it will happen within the next 30 days with the new banking system in place and the final phase of the collection or deletion of the zeros uh, has taken place. So thanks for listening to the call. Have a great 
week, everyone. We will be back next week. Uh, uh, certainly, if something of a dramatic nature were to happen before next Wednesday, we'll try to get out an emergency email and schedule an emergency conference call. But failing that, we'll be back next Wednesday, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great week. Bye-bye.